So I just picked up my uh, my first 592 today. I actually got a few of them. Um, this is a 592 XP, and then I've got a 592 XPG with the heat, and um, uh, I've got wrap handlebars for all these saws. So anyway, obviously the saw is going to come with a flush wrap on it. That's how House Barn has been doing it for a bit now. I have not seen one of these in the flesh, so uh, it's like a, it's a winter kit. Huh. Okay, and this is, yeah, this is just the XP model. Instruction booklet. comes with the same toolkit that the 390 does nowadays. Alright. 592 XP. I just assumed it would be a lot like a 572 but um, bigger. I mean I guess it kind of kind of looks like one a little bit but I mean definitely physically larger just like the difference between a you know, an old 372 and a 390, it's kind of got that same 390 feel to it as far as size. Definitely got the same style of grip as a 370, or excuse me, a 572. Lots of things reminiscent. <clears throat> um, there's a there's a tether down here for this for this spring. It's kind of cool, I guess. And that's a really nice clear tank view window there. That's the best one that Husqvarna has ever ever made on any saw that I've ever put my hands on. Maybe some of the uh, smaller pro models have been like this for a while, but the 572 just has a, just a little, I don't know, not really, whatever you want to call it, a little sight glass. It's just a thin window. That's much better. Um, same style caps as the 572. I mean, the the case is, you know, same type of construction and everything, same type of look. This, uh, this muffler is kind of freaking huge. And this is something brand new that we've never seen. Um, there's just uh, one Allen screw here. I'm gonna, I don't know if this is just one big like clamp type thing or if there's more screws under that for the muffler or not. I haven't got far enough to be able to tell you, but this, uh, this deflector outlet is pretty huge. <clears throat> it totally looks like the same side cover as the uh, 572 to me. Plus wrap 572 version, they're just like this if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna tell you for sure here in a second. Grab a new 572 side cover and see if it fits. These are just little spacers they put in there so you don't bend or break anything over tightening the bar nuts without a bar on it. Um, let's see, I know for a fact this came off of 572. Okay, the part number is a little different there, <clears throat> but it looks exactly the same. So let's find out. Sure thing. Yep. So it's gonna be the same old clutch cover as the 572, the 575, the 576, the 372, the 371, the 385, 390. All those, all those saws are gonna have the same style of cover as this. So that's really nice. The interchangeability on that's awesome, and that's one reason why a lot of the guys that have been running steel forever, they don't understand, you know, <clears throat> why some of us Husky guys run Husky, and I, I will run bull, but these side covers that Husky is putting on these saws now, if you get one of these with the 592 wrap, you know, if it's set up with a wrap, it would have this cover on it typically, but um, these, these chip deflectors are awesome. They're huge, they're wide. If you throw your chain, you're throwing your chain into hard plastic, not into metal, you know. This this is really good, really good design on these uh, on these clutch covers. I mean, they're they're great. Like everything that Steel's got now is just just you got to buy a hundred and sixty dollar aftermarket clutch cover apparently because they break so easy on the Steels. I know they do on the four sixty twos, unfortunately. Um, I, that's kind of some of the reason I personally got away from Steel. But anyway, I didn't want to turn this into a Husky versus Steel thing. Um, <clears throat> This has a, a rubber uh, ceiling gasket, ceiling surface uh, for the 
for the bar oil and that I mean it's kind of a cool thing they've been doing for a little while now I really like it um, let's see this drum looks like the same same size probably same part number as a 390 I'm not don't quote me on that but that's just kind of what I'm what I think I'm seeing here um, it's weird the throttle cables but throttle cables like totally suspended here it's kind of Kind of crazy looking, similar to their old style, but just uh, I got a shock absorber spring there. Same style with this little foam buffer as the 572 and 562, and I'm sure lots of other models. Um, yeah, a lot of the support for the for the saw um, from the tank to the crankcase is going to be provided by this spring here on the cylinder, just like the 572. All right, let's take this cover off and see what it looks like under there. I don't know all the technical specs on this saw yet. I'm not trying to pretend like I do. This is the initial unboxing and first time I've looked at one. So. Uh, filter design. Oh, wow, that's kind of weird looking for a Husqvarna, isn't it? I have a round inlet like that. But, I mean, it looks like a good quality filter. You can't really knock Husqvarna's factory filters. They're, they're pretty awesome. Um... Yeah, there's definitely a lot going on in there. Um, <clears throat> this carbon looks totally different than a than a 572, but I mean, I think it's a lot of the same basic technology. I'll look into it further to figure that out. But this kill switch is the same combo switch, kill choke, um, primer bulb. Um, yeah, I'm excited to run this thing tomorrow and uh, put it into some into some nice trees and see what it's gonna do I'll get a feel for what these things are like stock and um, after I you know get one broken and get a feel for them and get the ring pattern wore into the jug uh, Joe can uh, tear one of these things down and, and see what he can do to get some more power out of them it's obviously gonna be an easy adaptation for him to uh, to figure out and I'll take that out and field test it and see what it'll do and I've got three of these currently. Um, I kind of plan on keeping one of them for myself. One of them is a heated model, and I think I'll keep the heated model. So I'll probably have a couple of uh, 592 XPs available here real soon. Um, ported by uh, Joe Johnson himself. And I'll probably just handle the muffler mod, which looks like it's going to be super easy on this. Oh, we got a ton of room for an extra deflector right here, which is totally awesome. Man, that's like almost like 395 size can on that thing. I guess it is 92.7 cc so I mean it's this is a good size saw. This is uh this is you know what is that uh four cc's five cc's let's see it basically close to five cc's bigger than a 390 at 88 so this is um this is a good size power head and I mean this is a um you know would be a direct competitor with the 661 and it's supposed to replace the 390 and the 395 so I guess we'll see if it uh it does that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, it, it, it looks good. It looks cool. Um, I'm stoked to put some gas and oil in it and bar it up and try it tomorrow. Um, I'll get a wrap on this thing and the, the big HD side cover and all that stuff on there, get it set up the way I want. I'll probably, I might throw some aftermarket dogs on there. Or I might throw some factory ones on there. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be posting some updates on what I think about this thing.